Hi everyone, it's Miss Rebecca. We're gonna make three drawings today of what you can do with your name. So what you're gonna need today is a white piece of paper, it's a watercolor set, a brush and a pencil, and some water. You're also gonna need some crayons. So let's get started. I want you to draw the letters of your name. Nice and large on your paper, right through the middle of your paper. D, and I'm gonna space it out. Here's an A, here's an N, and an A. Because I'd like to do this for Miss Dana. So I'm gonna put the M, I'm gonna space it out and put the S with a little dot after the Miss. Now after you do that, let's embellish it with some shapes. I'm going to add circles to the ends of my letters. Now you could add triangles or squares or rectangles, any shape, but I'm going to stick with circles. So I'm adding the circles to the ends of all the letters on this Miss Dana picture. Now I'm going to add some shapes and lines to the outer edges of my paper. I'm going to start with circles again, large, medium, and small. I'm going to repeat those circles in the corners, and I'm also going to start to draw different shapes like hearts and stars. Any kind of shape that you know how to draw, add it. So that way, we can get the entire paper filled up. Diamonds, diamond shape. And notice I'm repeating those shapes in different sizes, small, medium, and large. And now I'm gonna do a curly Q line just by swirling my pencil and making it look like, hey, this is a party in this picture. And I'm gonna repeat that curly Q line throughout the entire page. Next thing is some wavy lines. I'm gonna repeat those wavy lines in my picture over and over to fill up the whole page. Now it's time to outline with some color. So we're gonna make this picture super duper colorful. So get your crayons and let's start to outline some of the things we drew. I'm gonna carefully take an orange crayon and outline my curly Q line. I'm just gonna keep the orange and outline all of my curly Qs the same color. Swirling it around with the orange. Next, I'm gonna outline the letters. So I'm just carefully outlining the M with the green and the S. Take your time. And now switch colors. How about some pink? Pink is good for hearts. So I'm going to outline my hearts with pink. I really like pink. So I'm gonna also use pink for the D, for the letter D. I'm gonna make sure that I take my time and outline it very carefully. Sometimes you have to peel your crayon's paper back so that way you could see the crayon. I'm gonna use red now and outline the A. So I'm gonna outline the circle and the line and I'm gonna keep that red crayon to outline the N. And then I think I'll go back to this pink. I like how pink looks. And I'm going to outline the final letter A, just like that. 
Next, I'm going to outline the circles. The circles were used to make the letters a little more unique and special. So we added the circles to the ends of the letters, and now I'm outlining them with some purple. And some green. I think I'll do all my circles with this lime green. Next, I'm going to color in this star with yellow. I'm gonna fill in the whole shape, trying to stay inside the lines. And look at those stars. Beautiful. And finally, I'm going to color my diamond shapes with blue. And I think I'm gonna fill those all in. I like how this came out, but we're not done yet. Everything is outlined with different colors, and I really like how colorful it came out. But now, this is the fun part. I'm gonna use some watercolors, some water paints. Water paints on top of crayon is really neat because the crayon, you could see right through the watercolor paint. Make sure when you use watercolor that you put a lot of water inside the color you're going to use. So you might have to go back and forth dripping water into the color. Once you have enough water, it makes the watercolor paint. And I'd like you to take any color and paint the background. So the background is all the white space behind all your letters and shapes and lines. And you're just painting right on top of your drawing and right on top of your crayon. And what you notice is that the crayon shows right through. Now, once you've painted a little section, change colors. I'm gonna use a little bit of gray here. And notice I'm going right on top of the letters and right on top of the lines. And now I'm going to change colors. I'm going to add a lot of water on top of that color. And I'm going to put purple here. It's really coming out nice. Now I'm gonna use yellow. I'm gonna put a lot of water in the yellow and then I'm going to paint this side all yellow. I'm gonna make sure that I fill in the entire side with paint. Ooh, yellow, purple, blue, and gray. So far, so good. I'm just going right on top of the swirly and right on top of the circle and over the letter. Now I'm gonna switch colors. I'm putting a lot of water into that color and I'm gonna continue to fill in this whole section on the bottom because I don't want any white left on the paper. I want this to be super duper colorful. I'm gonna put a lot of water in the next color and I think I'm almost finished. We're almost there because there's almost no white showing on the paper. This is the last final little corner that I have to fill in. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Looking great. Mm -hmm. 
Do I have a little more? Yep, I still have down this section. It's needing some color down here, so I'm almost there. Finishing up here, my masterpiece. Use as many colors as you like. You can even fill in some of the shapes that we made. You can fill in your circles with different colors. You can fill in your heart shape. You can fill in your other shapes, your circles again. Keep on coloring and keep on painting until you're happy with it. Voila, I am happy with this. Remember, we have to wash our hands after this kind of work. Make sure you go to the sink and wash your hands. Bye.